I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. This is going to be my word to this person. He done spent all his time in the housing department because they're going to make your ass part time. And then you want to bring you, you. Let me tell you this. When you hear somebody just talk about God, 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 and they never say Jesus Christ. And they, they gave themselves to their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That means that they are using the doctrine of devils. I'm just going to let you know. As a Hebrew woman, y'all already know that we believe in the first, the old, the old Testament, but I believe in both. And I know my Lord and Savior who kick ass. This person right here, he was sounding like somebody sound last night at two hours into the video talking about, I'm the man. You driving my car. You need to follow my rules. People got a vision. You need to follow their vision. Close your damn mouth and just follow me and give me some motherfucking money and act like I'm doing good and just shut the fuck up. And that's what he was saying, just like the person yesterday. Let's keep going. We're going to get to who is William Moore. Now, I don't got a picture of this fugly, but I'm going to put the video up. I'm going to put the video up. I'm going to give him the floor because the last live, we can't listen to the whole thing, though. I can't deal. I can't deal with people who have the doctrine of the devils. Like, and I know you just doing wrong. Like, you talking about God. God, God please don't do, do not not believe in God because of people like this man. Please. We already know. They said in the Bible, there's going to be a lot of people prophesizing and a lot of pastors burning in the abyss. This jigger right here. When we get into why and how he connected to Henry, you're going to know why his ass going to burn in the abyss. Because he's terrible. He He's riding with her to the end. He is riding with her relentlessly. Let me ask you a question. Do you think this guy, after you listen to him, is he going to actually tell on Henry? Because he is very delusional. But he can articulate himself. His delusion is, is equal to... Hmm. I was about to say Stan Brown, but Stan Brown looked like he not about to play. Stan Brown about to tell. I told y'all he will catch on. Don't be playing with the slow people. Just because he's slow don't mean that he don't know. He was like, let me ask you a question. Is they just investigating the mirror, right? Just her. Right? Right? And when people start looking around like, hmm. I think that was a little wake up to Stan, my man Brown. Stan in my head. Stan, when I want to list. Can I ride a bike? But I don't know. I was trying to compare the level of Williams, like their psyche, to see if he's that, like, off. But he may be just really spiritually blinded. Do y'all think he's going to ride it to the wheels fall off and just go to jail with him? Because every time he talked, when I looked, he was batting for Henry. He bats for Henry. So we got to look to see how much properties this man owes own out there in Dalton. If any Dalton resident has that information for me, make it easy for my research, let me know. Because he needs to be on the DJ list. Let me give him the flow.
I'm going to just shut up and give him the fuck. This guy, not for a long time, though. I can't mess with him. Good afternoon. Uh, good evening, bro. Oh, fast forward. Uh, trustees to our board. Dr. Right. Thomas Lee, I'd like to give my report um, for Dr. Thomas Housing, as well as for Bitter and Finesse. Now we've got a high level. Hurry up. I'll start with housing report for the month of July. We have rented 45,500 for 5 We have 28 the same inspections at 6,480 hours. 51 escrow checks deposited at 15,500 hours. Is this the last one? 8,975. registration here. It was 7,353 hours and 50 cents. And then yeah. uh, permits of the department, we have rented the month of July with 52,000. Hurry up. And I can say, as a public head, you can say that because my guys have supplied and my needs. Let me slow this down. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Let me slow it down so you can just hear a little bit of his shucking and jiving. FBI, just listen, because he's stubborn. Y'all going to have to get him right here. This, this neglect is stubborn. Going to church. Huh. I'm not going to God. Let me let me let me admonish you to go to church. No, look. Let me you. Do y'all hear him talking about church? That's when you know that that tongue going to be cut off or burnt. When he get to the pearly gates, remember this because we're gonna get into what he's involved in related to the church. Okay, out there trying to shut them down. Okay, trying to revitalize the Dalton downtown area without the people who've been there, and even the God fearing people. No mercy. Let me give you one more minute of this guy, and then we're gonna move forward into some more connections in the roles that he plays with with um Hinger. This means I mean the leaders that's in leadership positions that are not true leaders at heart. Okay. And so I admonish you that you can be steered by the voice of your mouth because the Bible tells me to touch not my anointed and give his prophets no harm. Okay, so I want to start right there because he just got on my nerves. Ooh, caught a flashback. Guys, don't be spiritual blinded. I don't care if the person in leadership, in this shit, whatever shit, question everybody's shit because they got a position. Question not my leaders. You stupid. God said, test, test the soul, test the person. Y'all, they, they teaching this doc, this is the doctrine of devils. He said, test the spirit. Okay. This one, he ain't right. We're about to show you how he ain't right. I can't even listen to him for a long time. He makes me sick. He don't even make me mad. He just turned me to hell off. All right, let's listen to the Dalton politician cancer charity got almost all of its reported money from taxpayers. How? Why? Why would we bring this back up? Because his this guy is one of the founders of this Tiffany Cares Foundation. So to my memory, it is him, Kamal. And two other people. I just remember those names off the top of my head. But let's get to this right here. Let's listen. Shout out to, shout out to WGN 9 News Investigation. They having fun with this right here. They do doing series on Dalton. And, you know, it's not being funny towards Dalton. But they really keeping a good tabs on this. So respect to them. They WGN like Investigates has learned nearly all of the money is South don't you do me like that. Wait till I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Hold on, y'all. A South has learned nearly all of the money a South. Hmm. WGN investigates has learned nearly. It's like it's buffering. We're gonna try one more time, and I'm just gonna get to the article. Move on by. I wonder if there's a lot of people online. Bear with me, y'all. It's going, and then y'all gonna have to bear with me later on for where I'll be at in the next couple of weeks. Because there you go, Bobby. WGN Investigates has learned nearly all of the money a South suburban politician's cancer charity claims to have received in its first few months of activity came from taxpayers. It's the latest example of questionable spending by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard, who also serves as Thornton Township Supervisor. The Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation was created in the fall of 2022 and heavily promoted by Henyard. The township board she created, she oversees, gave the foundation $10,000 days after its creation. A new filing with the Illinois Attorney General says the foundation, 
only raised $3,000 additional dollars. Mm. WGN Investigates has previously reported thousands more dollars were charged to township credit cards during the charity's walk to Springfield. You and you're trying to distance yourself from the foundation in a recent interview claiming she had no involvement in the group's activities. The attorney general has ordered the foundation to stop soliciting money because it still hasn't submitted tax filings to show how it spent money. Mm. All right. So that was a flashback real quick. So you guys can get an idea. We're going to get into how this guy is tied into that. This guy, this guy. There's a lot. Henry keeps us entertained. Something is wrong with this child. Let me put it on the screen while we talk about it real quick. All right. So in September 2022, Mita Henry of the Township Board voted to give $10,000 to her foundation, which claimed to help people with cancer. Records show that the foundation paperwork was filed with the state the same day that the township payment was approved. Jesus, document shows the foundation of officials are all people who work for the village of Dalton and or Dalton. Dalton Village Manager Keith Freeman is part of that, who is also Henry Pace Senior Advisor at the Township, filed paperwork for Foundation, Village of Dalton Housing Director William Moore, and Ann Henry's ex Executive Assistant in Dalton, um, Carmen, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? So we already know Carmen turning, Freeman turning. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little happy here, but this jigger right here, he he's still holding on real hard. Okay, so um, let's get into it. Uh, Woods and uh, Earhart declined the comment. All right, so. Let's see what else. Tenured and others include DJs and photograph flyers. A drone took a e-bike ride for over a week last October. This wasn't a one-day thing. These people was doing it every day. So she could te um, testify on behalf of the bill. Hold on one second. Let me just read the whole thing. Tenured and others, including a DJ and photograph flying a drone, took a e-bike ride for over a week last October from Dalton to Springfield. Yeah. So she could testify on behalf of a bill that she hoped could give tax breaks to people suffering from cancer. And that's where we're going to show you one of our favorite residents. Okay. I know I know we're going to have to show her because there's a reason why she mad. Okay. So we already know that um, our housing director, Mr. Moore, is connected to her in this way, okay? He is one of her organizers of that uh, charity that is under scrutiny. Also, let's just move on. He was served a letter. Let me see. Illinois Attorney General orders Dalton Mayor Charity to register, okay? Let's put that on the screen. I mean, like these these media freakers. She's such a good businesswoman. She's such a good businesswoman, and all the people around them, they literally was just doing anything. And I don't know. I know they've been doing this for a while, but y'all think the Trump era uh, like fueled this? I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest because during the Trump era, I'm gonna be honest. That would really spark me to start my business and really push and do it, and felt like it was doable. You know, if he could do it, anybody can do it. Hey, you already know. No disrespect, but a lot of people went down that route and they was going after the PPP loans and all types of stuff. So I really think that that fueled it. And also, as I mentioned to you guys, Trump drew back on a lot of um, the acts that were put in place to regulate these businesses, like the Dodd-Frank acts. So basically what he did was make the whole United States like Georgia, like bump it, free fall. We ain't, we ain't going to look up none of these businesses that's doing y'all wrong. We ain't funding the companies like a Better Business Bureau lost money, Consumer Protection um, Consumer Protection Bureau lost money as well under the defunding. So we suffered. I'm just going to say it was good. But how many black owned businesses is really doing well and thriving right now? You see what I'm saying? I knew they were going to come after people after that damn PPP loan. I told people, I was like, what day? I don't want that money. I don't, I'm giving real information. If you say I get $5, I, I don't want it. I'm good. I'm scared. I don't even want it. So the U.S. charity organization, 
organized by Dalton, Mayor, Mayor Tiffany Henyard has been told by the Illinois Attorney General Office to stop soliciting or attempting contributions and that it must register with the state. Now, this was February 23rd, 2024. OK, so this is about eight months ago. You know how long she's been in the office and just all of this stuff. I just that's what I'm telling you guys. We got to be on the keep our head on the swivel because this don't make no sense. Y'all going to smack me. Y'all going to be right bad at me. Yo, she like she just as toxic as Trump and she get away with it. Don't be mad. I don't hate Trump, but baby. No, she worse than Trump right now. She just worse. Trump is acting like a superhero right now. But Trump was in this. Trump was. Don't forget about his past. Don't forget about his school. Don't forget about all that Trump Tower nonsense, baby. Okay. She is terrible. Terrible. How is she still functioning? Hmm. Let's move forward. Somebody's protected her. The attorney general letter dated Wednesday and sent by certified mail notes that Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation is not in good standing and states that the attorney general has sent multiple letters advising, among other things, that it is not registered with the state. However, the foundation hasn't responded and we have not been advised why there has been a delay. According to the recent letter sent by El Pesto, I'm saying it wrong. Deputy Bureau Chief of the Attorney General Charitable Trust Bureau. A Facebook page for the charity provides a little information about the charity's activity. We already know the page State Cares uh, stands for Cancer and Remission Empowerment Survivors. And there is a photo of Hinger, who is also Thornton Township supervisor so he was served around february well as according to this article i'm going to say at or around february 23rd 2024 stop collecting money now if you go into the investor the gentleman who i told you the independent investor the independent investor he did a breakdown about this as well about the kids i'm telling you guys it's just amazing he breaks this down in great detail and goes into because the things that I don't have to do because he did it. He went into the website. After a while, the website was just directing you to a page to buy stuff. I think, in my opinion, she had changed it once they got that letter and probably try to make seem like her donations was less than five thousand dollars because donation less than five thousand um, dollars. You don't have to claim that with the IRS or tell them you see what I'm saying. Anything less than that. So. If she stopped having the link available and all that stuff, maybe she's trying to set up her um, white collar crime because that lawyer that she has, the new lawyer, what is it? Uh, it is Skyka. He is a white collar lawyer. He specialized in business. He specialized in commercial transactions as well. Yes, 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 yes. I'll put the description down there. Commercial transactions. He is a well-rounded person for her shit. If you understand commerce here, if you understand commerce in the law, there's a whole, there's a backdoor to everything. That's why it's good for you guys to learn commerce and law. It's not a joke because this is how they get all this stuff done. Even the little part that um super producer went over where Dale Gatto took his name off of the business that speed speed safe business just before it was you know approved by a county he was already working for and they put his name back on there easy peasy also someone else did something weird like that too it's so many loopholes to stuff to try to hide stuff like with the ruckers and holding the ruckers the one that was trying to do the smoke lounge they have a lot of drama with them and allegedly his wife according to um the in individual investor a little girlfriend end up unaliving somebody with a hit and run okay i want y'all to watch that video but there was a change of ownership after the hit and run of someone in Dalton basically trying to disassociate the young lady who er unalive somebody by hitting them and running. And um, I'm just going to leave that right there. Y'all watch that video. Okay. That's, that's why I'll be playing my video, Trust Nobody. Like Tupac said, you got to ask them daggone questions.
questions because there's a lot of people who were friends. Y'all think these people wasn't friends before they got into these positions. Birds of a feather flocks together. Figure out who was friends in Dalton and you're going to get a reflection of what they're into. And that's not just Dalton. That's just with people in it. So I want you guys to hint, hint, pay attention, okay? I'm going to leave that alone. I love y'all. People be mad. Like, what are you talking about, girl? Now, let me put my favorite, favorite person on the screen. She's another favorite person. You know, the nursing got to come out. You know, the nurse that got to come out. And I had somebody, and I'm just going to say, she got blocky. I turned it to, I turned it to block and delete, block and delete. I usually don't block and delete, y'all. But this did daggone thing that went on, and then send the monsters. And it's all black females, mostly. And then a few clowns. The, the men coming over talking about the way I say specific, suspicious. I can't say the word. I got a heavy tongue. I don't care. Kiss my butt. They coming over here messing with me with that. I like, I'm not about to play with y'all. I'm from Newark. Leave me alone. I just block and delete. Then you got the women coming over here talking shit about me. Just talking shit. You and then you know one person said, My husband is a physician and something, something, something. And I don't know what the hell she said. When she said that and talk about my behavior, I just deleted and blocked it. You know why? Because I don't give a damn. I'm gonna be myself. You don't know how I act when I'm not here. This is my platform. YouTube is not a professional platform. We can express ourselves, and I choose to be me and free. Okay, I don't care what title I have. I'm a good person all around the board. Take me as take me as you see it. Y'all will love to work with me. Y'all will love for me to take care of y'all family. I promise you. I go in hard. This whole week, you let me tell you what I've been doing. I just got to tell y'all. Every day I've been getting up studying from five to about eight, nine o'clock because I'm moving into another type of ICU unit. It's the CCU. And I said, I'm going to be ready. So all this chaos, me pushing out videos, getting ready for this next contract, I've been studying. So whoever want to talk about my pronunciation and that, don't let that fool you. That many people got different dialects. And because we can't pronunciate the words that you want us to pronunciate because you ain't the smart person in the world, don't mean that you can step above me or step through me. I'm just keeping it real. So don't disrespect me. The women's coming over here acting like a fool for Jedediah. I'm just keeping it real. Them bitches lost. So they go, go, just go love on your man and leave me the fuck alone. I just had to say that. Just get out of my face. And somebody, shout out to the people who said I was going to lose subscribers. I've been deleting them. And more people have been coming. And I love you guys because that told me, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good being me. You know what I'm saying? You guys are good being you. A lot of you guys come over here because y'all can just talk y'all stuff. Y'all can talk y'all stuff like this person right here. Mm-hmm. Miss Vivian. And I ain't call her Valerie. So be quiet, super producer, because I've been calling everybody Valerie. Valerie, you don't know you my best friend? Everybody name, if I don't know, I'll be like, it's Valerie. It's Valerie. It's Valerie. <laughs> so Miss Vivian, Miss Vivian Allen is actually the person who initiated the um, skate and ring petition. I am so grateful. Um, she's amazing. And I hope you guys support it. Let's hear what she got to say. This is one of her clips. Okay. I know she be getting on the mic, tearing shit up, but we got to give her the floor because we're doing a flashback on why the housing director is doing what he do and why people are upset with him here for this charity. I just want to flashback. She is the main one who's been telling you guys something ain't right, something ain't right. She's going to go down for this charity too and the people involved. And they're going to focus in on him because he was the one that received the letter. Okay, Mr. Williams, his old stupid self. He's a fool. Let's watch her. Miss Vivian. Okay, God be with her. Give her strength. You guys, it's not easy fighting a diagnosis like what she has. It is not. And she be up there giving the, the work. They better not talk about the way I deliver. I better not talk about the way I deliver. Look at this delivery. That's what you look. All right, I'm cracking jokes. I just want to. Okay. All right, so. um. Last time I came, I was kind of muted. Yes, so I just want to make sure that I'm not muted this time because. Oh, um, I just want to say one more thing, guys. She be muted. They mute her. 
I looked at a few other lives and literally she was one of the first person that went. It was quiet, like mute quiet. I said, they really muted her, like video muted her. And that's the same thing that they've been doing to Cara um, related to Alexis Wilson. So keep your eyes on this because these are going to be the things that's going to take Henry down. Why are they muting them? Like they mute me, right? Like they said, blocker, blocker. I got to bring it up, y'all. I'm sorry. I'll leave it alone. I do want the mayor, Tiffany Henry, to step down. I need Keith Freeman to quit today. Resign. Today. Because you are not what we need for Dalton. I grew here. And I know you grew here, too. You used to get bullied. So, allegedly, let me say that. Oh my but God. I know you grew here, too. However, you have messed up our town. I've been a resident in Dalton for over 30 years. Tiffany knows this. Because I'm sure that that's the reason why she didn't do what she was supposed to do. However, Tiffany... To everybody, every resident, I'm sorry. I apologize if I seem irate. I had my radiation today. I have cancer. Of course I do. Tiffany sold money from a cancer foundation. How dare you? How dare you steal? And I want you with your campaign. How dare you steal from us? I want to buy my wigs. Are you going to reimburse me for the wigs that I've been spending my money on? Now, I just want to, I want to give y'all a heads up. I know sometimes because I be watching and some people be like, oh my God, she's so loud. Oh my God. Why she like that? You know what I'm going to tell you? Why she like that? Because she's going through pain. She's going through a lot. First, going through chemo and all of these type of um, treatments for cancer is very time consuming and very expensive. If you don't got good insurance, you're going to be going through the rigmarole, trying to make sure that you get the right treatment based on your insurance. That's not a joke. Based on your insurance, the better it is, the better treatment. I had a family member that had some things that got went on and they literally got this top of the line type of new treatment that actually put her situation in remission pretty fast. You, you know, God be the glory. But that's what she was explaining to me. And I was like, oh, okay. I never heard that before. And I'm, you know, I'm a nurse, I was in, but I don't specialize in cancer. So I'm like, maybe I never heard of this, you know, so it does depend on your insurance. So you need support. You out of work. Depending on what type of cancer, where you at, there's some pain involved. It's usually pain involved, okay? And you have to be on some type of pain medications. Those pain medications cause other things to happen. So her anger and her fire, for her to still have this fire is really commendable because it takes a lot, especially after treatment. When you have the treatment, it's time to go to bed, period. Point blank, period. Sleepy time. That's It feels... And I haven't had it happen to me, but me really being empathetic and watching my patients talk to them and they go through these type of things. This is like dialysis treatment. So if you ever had someone who take got dialysis and how they be cranky and pain, all types of stuff, it's because of these rigorous, long, harsh treatments that they have to have. We're going to be doing um, just a, a special on her, probably 15, 20 minutes of Vivian Greatest Clips. Okay. We have to give her love, blessing, and support. She is the one that actually took my idea. I love it. I would say it. Shut up. And that's what I asked. I said, hey, wouldn't it be a good idea if someone actually, you know, try to get Tiffany here, you're pissed off and rename that damn ice skating ring? Because it made me f mad, first and foremost. But I don't hate kids. But baby, your daughter ain't do anything. And you sure enough toilet up shit. I ain't me. And then you got all these little stupid hearts up there. Take them off. That's what really pissed me off. I'm a girl. I'm a woman. But I ain't beat for that. That need to be universal. So I really support the transitioning of the name of that facility in which in one of the articles, I should have read it, she took a lot of unauthorized money to do that. Okay? She did a, took a lot of unauthorized money to make that skating ring. Okay? It needs to be donated back to the people that has been harmed and allow the residents to enjoy it because at this point they don't even want to go to that skating ring. They don't even want to have no damn parts to that skating ring. So let me just put this on the screen real quick. Um, this is the petition and it's going to be in the description and is in our community page. All we need is a signature. All we need is a signature. I'm so listening signatures. Yeah. Yes, I am. This is my baby girl. I love her. I don't know what's wrong. I done fell in love with this baby girl. I pray, I pray for her and her mama. We just going to keep on fighting. Look, one step at a time. This is justice to me. And I think this is justice to her mother, not speaking on behalf of her, but this is a step towards justice. 
to go to this skating ring that we know funky ass tenure stole the money from the people to build and it actually to highlight someone who lost their lives to to, to i mean to the adults and police that will not only remind people that something severely was wrong, but there is room for justice and that you guys can enjoy life and have fun the same way Alexis Wilson likes to do or what she used to like to do. I got I got to know, you know, just some things about her and she seemed like a very fun and amazing person. Like just, we gonna go out. We gonna make something happen as per her mama. So she was a good spirit. I, that's what I believe. And she was a baby. Okay. So I'm, that's what we're going to go right there. Now, but what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of switch the mode. Just know that this live is going to be long and I'm going to break it up. This is a trending topic, but it has to do with Illinois. Okay. Y'all have the DNC coming there, right? Y'all got the DNC coming there. Let me move some of this stuff up and make sure that I, there has been some warnings about what may be going on in the DNC. Let me keep this up because this is the church one. Because we're we going to go back to the church one. The last thing we're going to do here is I'm going to let A.I. read, read, read the, church, um, the church lawsuit to you guys. So that's going to be a good breakdown of what happened with the church and how they basically try to steal property by rezoning the downtown area every election so now because they can't beat me they got to do this smear campaign to convince public opinion that i'm bad for them so you said two elections you were first elected in 2021 no 2013 was my first election for trustee no, i was trustee. a trustee i sat where they are right. that's uh, why uh, i know the law council yes elected mayor 2021 yes terms four years yes okay uh plans of running for re-election i'm running for both my seats and yeah. i'm gonna win them so and when is the election for thornton town 2025 so those elections at the same time? They are. Bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. Okay, Nick. A bullshit. A bullshit. The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.